Sorry. So, like I was saying with this, we start right here at V, move six to the left, four down, six left, four down, make our new point. We call that V prime. Okay. Uh, let's take a look over at number four for a second. Again, we're starting right here at point U. Our translation here is just seven units to the right. So we only have an X movement, no Y movement, but that's fine. Let's count out seven to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make my new point. Call that U prime. That's all we're doing. Most important part here is making sure that your point is labeled with that prime notation. Okay, that's the key part of this. And that's what we got for number four, all right? Okay, um, let's take a look at the back with the triangles. It's definitely more uh, aligned with what you might see on a test. So let's take a look at number nine. So number nine, we're going five units to the right, and then we're going two units up. Does it matter which of these three points I start with? No, no, no. no it does not. They're all pre-imaged points, so it doesn't matter which one I start with. They're all being translated the exact same amount. Five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Two units up. One, two. Make my new point. Call it E prime. Sorry, that's an E. Five units to the right, two units up. Let's move down to D. One, two, three, four, five. Two units up, one, two. Boom, D prime is what we're going to call that one. And finally, we'll go down to point F. One, two, three, four, five. Two spaces up make my point, call it F prime. Now we're going to connect up all of those. Thank you very much. We're going to connect up all those prime points. And that right there is our image. D prime, E prime, F prime, that orange triangle right there. Was there any uh, problems on the back of 44 that anyone had trouble with? Anyone had questions about? Okay, let's do one more together. Let's jump down to number 11. Three units to the right, three units up. One, two, three to the right. One, two, three up. C prime. One, two, three to the right. One, two, three up. E prime. One, two, three to the right, one, two, three up, D prime. So like I said, uh, I think on Monday, the little bumps that you draw as you're counting are really, really helpful in making sure that we're not messing up our count, but they do create a new problem being that it looks really messy and you're gonna have to cross over lines you already drew, so that might throw you off as well. Just be super careful, try and ignore the lines that you already drew while you're counting and only focus on the actual grids, or the little squares, of our coordinate plane. All right, we once again connect up that triangle. You can shade it in if you want to, you don't have to. And there's our image, C prime, D prime, E prime. Yeah, no, yep. As long as you're counting the spaces correctly and you're going in the right direction, uh, you should be good to go with translating shapes. 